Yo. Welcome to another Synfig tutorial. So we'll be exploring the warp tool in this one. So first thing I'm going to do is just to add a an object to the scene. And to get access to the warp tool, simply right click in the layers panel, go to new layer and distortions, then select warp. Now, once you select warp, you will start seeing that it's not warping how you want it to. So what you want to do is turn off the warp tool and where you see this bounding box here that looks like marching ants, I call it marching ants, but it's really like a broken line or broken lines. You want to place that over your object. So just make sure that your object is within these lines here and then turn on by the warp tool and we can see that the object is ready to warp. So you can move the handles to warp your object. Right? And that's pretty much how it works. Now you can use the warp tool to do some pretty cool stuff. For one, you could um, give the illusion of a three-dimensional room. So let's say we have this right here, right? This could be like our floor. Um, so let me actually group this. Right, so this could be the floor. Let me turn off the background. Um, notice when I put it in a group, we don't see the white area, right? So the white was coming from the background itself because the background is white. And remember that whenever you add tools, whatever is underneath them, it affects um, all that is underneath them, right? So with this group, it's now affecting just the, the shape, right? So this is how it will look without the background being turned on, right? Uh, so I'm actually going to just delete this and I'm going to create a rectangular shape. So um, let me to delete this rectangle. I think I'm going to go with this one, this layer type here. Just create a nice shape. Then right click, new layer, distortions, and warp. And let me set this up real quick. Put my marching ants box around the object and turn on back warp. And now we are able to warp it. Um, now, before, before I do this, um, I'm going to go again and place these two inside of a folder. Okay. And um, I think I'm going to duplicate these. So copy, paste, paste, paste. And I'm going to turn these off and let me open up this, select warp and let me just start positioning these things right now. Again, I'm just showing you uh, what you could do with the warp tool, right? Create like a three dimensional room. All right. So I'm not going to make that perfect. So let's say this is the floor and uh, this could be, let me open up this. This one could be maybe one of the walls over here. So let me move this over. Like so. And if you decide to use this to create something like this, you could use your, you know, you could turn on your guides and use them so you can get uh, more accurate lines and stuff. Right, um, but for our demonstration purposes right here, I'm not going to do that. And I'm going to change the color here just to a lighter color like so. And I'm going to move on to this one. Turn it on, select warp, and move this over. I mean, what I could have done was to duplicate this layer and just flip it. That would have been easier, right? Uh, but that is okay. I'm not looking to make this perfect. Just demonstrating what demonstrating what it's um, able to do. And I guess this one would be the roof, maybe. So warp. Then bring it up here. 
this across like so right I mean it's not perfect but you get the idea right so yeah we could create something of a three-dimensional space let me just move this over All right um, change the color a bit to maybe like something like that yeah right so yeah you could use this to give the illusion of a three-dimensional object within the space okay now i know this looks horrible but hey it's just it's just an example all right so i hope you enjoyed this one and i will see you in the next video Yo. Yeah.